The reasons why India and its people were not able to fully exploit their natural resources and engage in global trade prior to the arrival of European powers are complex and multifaceted. These factors include 1. Geographical and environmental constraints India's geography, with its vast deserts, rugged mountains, and dense forests, presented significant challenges to transportation and communication, hindering the development of trade networks. Additionally, climatic factors, such as droughts and floods, could disrupt agricultural production and trade flows. 2. Political structure and social organization India's political landscape was characterized by a fragmented system of kingdoms and principalities, which often engaged in conflicts and lacked the unity and stability necessary to support large-scale trade and economic development. Moreover, the social structure, with its emphasis on caste and hierarchy, may have limited individual initiative and entrepreneurship. 3. Technological limitations, compared to European powers, India lagged behind in technological advancements, particularly in shipbuilding and navigation. This limited India's ability to venture into the open seas and establish trade routes with distant lands. 4. Cultural and religious influences, India's cultural and religious traditions may have played a role in shaping its economic development. The emphasis on self-sufficiency and spiritual pursuits, rather than material wealth and worldly aspirations, may have discouraged large-scale economic activity and engagement with the outside world. 5. Social stratification, India's caste system created a rigid social hierarchy that limited social mobility and entrepreneurship. This made it difficult for new businesses to emerge and challenge the traditional elites. 6. European mercantilism and colonialism, the rise of European mercantilism, with its focus on accumulating wealth through trade and colonialism, further exacerbated India's economic disadvantages. European powers, driven by a desire for profits and control over resources, exploited India's riches and hindered its own economic development. Despite these challenges, India did have a rich history of trade and economic activity prior to the arrival of Europeans. Indian merchants engaged in trade with various regions including China, Southeast Asia, and the Middle East. But these foreign traders came to India, Indian traders were unable to travel to these other countries as merchants, limited by establishing trade routes and building ships or developing merchant economy. However, the factors mentioned above limited India's ability to fully exploit its potential and compete with the emerging European powers. It is important to note that the arrival of Europeans did not suddenly transform India into a prosperous trading nation. The British East India Company, which eventually came to rule India, was primarily interested in exploiting India's resources and markets for its own benefit. While many Indians benefited from British rule, the overall impact was positive. India's economy was industrialized, and its traditional handicrafts industries evolved into factories with modern machinery. If the factors mentioned above limited India's ability to fully exploit its potential and compete with the emerging European powers. Only after independence from British rule in 1947 did India begin to develop its own economy and trade networks. Today, India is one of the world's fastest growing economies, and it is a major player in global trade. However, India still struggles to overcome poverty and inequality. These are a number of reasons why India was not able to achieve the same level of success in trade and prosperity as other countries prior to the arrival of Europeans.